Welcome to this week's Friday's video and in this video I'm going to be showing a bit about how I'm attempting to make a robe a robe like this and uh, at the end of the video uh, it seems like uh, some voices came across what could they be? don't know they weren't there when I made the video Here we are making a new robe. Make sure you got enough material when you do start. You could piece a robe together with different materials, but I never have enough white robes. Oops, sorry, butt shot. But gotta do what you gotta do. Got some tools, got my little baby scissor. Wish I had a baby scissor. Make sure your edges are all nice and straight on your material. Oh, butt shot again. Excuse me. Get down. Get down on the floor. That's where you gotta do it. Get down there. Make sure you put your animals out. You know, cats and dogs. They'll, they'll naturally come and walk all over your stuff and leave hairs and footprints. Get down there, get next to the mother earth. Again, make sure if your edges are all nice and straight. This material is like four, four layers thick. So it takes a lot of flattening out. And try not to move it while you're working. You gotta use a regular tape measure. I don't have one of those cloth ones. That's okay, it'll work. Here's my yard stick. Well, it's shorter than a yard. I needed a piece of flat metal to repair my car. And that was the only flat metal I found around, so I cut it. It's working good. It's working good on the car. Measure, 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 measure. Before you cut the material, make sure you Measure it once, measure it twice, measure it three times. If it ain't perfect, well, do it again. Smooth it out. I seem to be thinking about something, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm overdubbing this. I got the video speeded up. This is like part one of the creation of the robe. If you'd like me to do another part or a complete video just let me know I'll show you the rest of the robe right now it's all cut out and ready to sew and that's going to be a fun task you see I'm marking the material with what's called a uh, tailor's chalk that's, that's really pretty good stuff it's really cheap and comes off your material a lot easier than pencil or ink. You really don't want to use an ink pen to mark things, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We're almost at the end of this part of the video. Remember to subscribe, like, thumbs up, share on your social networks, and have a good week. Don't forget to comment, and I'm here if you need me.